Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I'm Meaty69 and we are back with the Road to Bat Chat and we are on tier 6. So we had to tier 2, tier 3, 4, 5 and now we're up to 6. And as I said with the tier 5, the ELC, uh, that's where it starts to get uh, really quick, uh, but no armour. Now the tier 5 was a little bit different as the turret did not turn fully but now we're up to tier six this is where you get pretty much everything you get your speed you get your your auto loader and you get no armor and but you do get the full fully rotational turret now the amx 12 t is what it is called now compared to all the other light tanks in its tier it does suffer quite so much from its dpm it is the lowest in its tier usually auto loaders do have slightly lower dpm than a few others or most of the others but it is a nice tank and i i enjoyed playing it i did enjoy playing it um so, so the DPM 1456, which as I've said is the worst. Um, 300, you've got the T21 there, 1800. So it's the worst in its tier by about 300 damage, which is quite a lot. But it's an auto loader, and obviously, yes, the M20, MT25 has got good DPM, uh, and that's an auto loader uh, as well. But, and the reload is a lot less. So the penetration, 144, that is not bad. Again, compared to all these, the VK28 is way above the rest. But 144 penetration is not bad at all. And your APCR it sits at 202, which is way, well, actually, I'll say way above everything else. You got 177 on your APCR on the Type 64, 221 on the VK, 180 on the T37, uh, 177 on the T21, and then you got 175 on the MT25. So the penetration is actually quite nice. Um, the rate of fire is nine, which again is the worst. Reload 15. Uh, just over 15 seconds for a full clip. Uh, three shells, and it's two seconds between each shell, which, eh. Um, the Calibre 75, again, pretty much the same as everything else. Shell velocity, 1,000. Your aim time is 1.6, which is pretty much the best aim time uh, out of the lot of them. Um, the gun depression is 4 degrees, so you do suffer... A little bit with the gun depression, but it is pretty much one of the quickest uh, at 65 kilometers per hour. The Type 64 is quite a bit quicker, and the T37 actually is quite a bit quicker. But it is a nice tank. It is a nice tank, and I did enjoy playing it. Um, I've got two battles for you today. One of them is quite a nice battle. Not the best, but it's a nice battle. And the other one is actually a very easy mastery. So let's get into the two battles. So the first battle is on Falls Creek and it is a tier 7 battle. Now that is the only thing with this tank. Uh, the tier 6, 7, uh, it will see quick tanks like the LTTB the dracula and if a dracula sees you he is going to ram you and he is going to do a hell of a lot of damage so that is the only thing with with this tank you do see a lot of quick tier sevens uh, and good ones ones with great dpm like the type 62 um, you see tanks like the su 152 and, and stuff like that so you do struggle now, I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I'm moving my... I don't, know, I don't know why I did that. I had it all wrong. But we, as we was capping the base, 
we do spot a couple of tanks to our right, which is the, the Spic SP-1C and the VK-2801. Um, the enemy have got three light tanks and a medium, so we do need to be careful. But we see the T-71 there not focusing us, so we do release our three shells into him. And then we're going to go into hiding while we're reloading. There is no point exposing any part of your tank whilst you are reloading. And now my teammate needs help. The VK needs help. And the, the T-71 is pretty much a two-shot, now a one-shot. So we do try and focus him. The VK, however, does take him out. So I did turn my attention to the spit. Uh, shooting HE. And then, as you see here... I'm reloading, so I'm just running away. There is no point in me, as I say, that I do get shot. Um, the SP-1C, the SPIC, I'm going to call it a SPIC. I hate calling it SP-1C. And now we get the back of the VK, which we can use a, uh, a HE into him. But our team does take him out. So it is now four against five. We have caught a base, and the enemy have also caught C. Uh, LTTP... LTTB takes out the spick. I do get a nasty shot, which pretty much puts me down to a one shot. Luckily, the VK to my left is not looking at me, but I'm not going to wait around. As I said, I am on a reload, so I do need to be careful. And that issue was my main target, as I could have took him out, but I didn't aim. I missed the first shot, and now he is still alive with a big gun. So I'm now going to flank around. I know he's a one shot. So as I'm reloading, there is no point me just sitting. So I do start running away and I do try and take out the VK and I do manage to take him out. Did expose a little bit. That was actually a silly move for, uh, for me because if them tanks there were looking at me, then I'm pretty much a dead man. So we are winning on cap points. Again, I'm reloading, so I'm on the move and I'm going to try and focus this SU now. He has got the biggest gun doesn't really matter because anyone will take me out now um and now the tiger p i can get behind the tiger p and i might as well take him out while he's there and the su 100 is also there so we might as well focus him there is now two against two um watch this and he misses that is very lucky of me very very lucky um our lttb is taking out the SU-100 and I do run in, swoop in and I steal the kill. Um, which just leaves this SU-100 wire. And I think the LTTB will take him out. So LTTB had a good battle. We finished on three kills each. Uh, quite lucky with that SU. Don't know what he was doing, but he... Miss me and it cost him the game pretty much. But I think the LTTB <clears throat> would have cleared them both up anyway. So that battle we do, it was a nice battle. First class, 2,200 uh, damage. And we make 21,000 credits. And we get 1,000 XP, which is not bad for a tier 6. Actually, that should be sort of ace material in tier 6. And then moving on to our next battle... Uh, it is a supremacy battle, and again, it is tier 7. And the enemy have got a lot of light tanks and a lot of mediums. So this is where I am going to go to C, which I never go. If I'm in a medium, I never go this way. But you have to look at your opposition. And if I go right, I am actually going to get annihilated. And I won't last very long. So guessing that they won't come this way... My team does follow, which is a good thing. The enemy are capping A, uh, A, and now we've got the T29, so I do not want to get shot from him. He will take pretty much half of my health. Uh, we cap C, and now we're just going to push this T29. He is on a reload. I've got two shells remaining. I'm just going to wait until he has shot, and then I'm going to poke out. Uh, I can't pen him, so I can pen him if I switch to APCR. But I want to do maximum damage, so I do shoot the AMX-12, and he just gets a nasty shot there. So he is now on a one-shot, and I'm hiding behind this. Again, I'm on a reload. I'm not going to expose myself. And luckily, this T-34 uh, pulls out, takes the shot, and now I can shoot this T-29. But I'm not penning him, and 
that's why I went for the Comet, because the Comet's a quick tank, a very good reload, very good DPM. There's no point in me switching to APCR and doing less damage to the T29 when I could do maximum damage to the Comet and get rid of a quick tank, one of them very fast tanks, uh, and they've got a few of them. But we do manage to take out the T29, we get one shot, and then the Comet now is pretty much running away, and we can get free damage into him without him looking at us so again a couple of shots into the comet puts him down to a one shot to a few of our team it is five against four we are winning on cap points and it's now four against four and we're only just winning on cap points and we bump into the comet so we managed to take him out leaving four against three um the crumb will be there's still good tanks in there with good dpm um, but now it's only two left alive so we are going to cap the base anyway why not I'm trying to ace the tank whenever I try and ace a tank I always play supremacy because you do get some easy aces and I actually hate supremacy I really hate supremacy I only ever play supremacy when I am trying to ace a tank and that is why I've aced so many. Someone has actually asked me how I've aced so many tanks because I've aced 297 tanks. And my main target was to ace all the tanks I've played. And I've now done that. And Supremacy has actually been a big help to me because you do get easy aces. And you will see that in this battle. I didn't do anything special there. It was just an average battle. But because we caught two bases, we got a few kills, we did finish on an ace, and it was only 1,600 damage. Three kills, we make 20,000 credits, but it's the ace I was looking for, and that's another one ticked off the list. So that is the AMX 12T, the tier 6, very fun tank. Um, I've had 19 battles, and I've actually won 17 of them, so I'm playing pretty well in it, doing well, uh, but I have now got the tier 7. And I have got a video ready for that. So I'm Easy69 guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all soon.